Nerve blocks are where you use local anesthetic to block the sensation of pain from your brain to a part of the body. For example, if you're having surgery on your hand, you can put numbing medicine near your neck and that will block the sensation of pain or movement between your brain and that part of the body. There are two major categories of nerve blocks, right? You can have a regional nerve block where, like I said, you're blocking a region or a limb, or you can have neuraxial where you're getting an epidural or a spinal and blocking a whole section of your body at the same time. So the idea behind using a nerve block would be to minimize the amount of overall anesthesia that you have and to give you longer lasting pain control. Um, you must be familiar, you probably are familiar with general anesthesia where you go to sleep and you get the gas and the breathing tube and you're familiar with uh, pain medicines like uh, Percocet and Loracet. Well all those make people a little confused, a little sleepy, sometimes a little nauseated. If we do a nerve block we can avoid using a lot of those and minimize those reactions. Um, it's very similar to when you go to the dentist's office, right, where they use numbing medicine. They put numbing medicine near, around the tooth and it makes part of your face numb for the rest of the day. Let's take the example of the total joint, of the total knee replacement. Um, during surgery, you still go to sleep, but you do get a nerve block before. That kicks in intra-op, and then it works for you for several hours or days after surgery. As soon as you wake up, you are now, because you're not hurting, you're able to do rehab, you're able to walk, you're able to do that physical therapy, which will only help in your recovery. You don't have to lay in the bed because it's too painful. Um, so that's one case where nerve block would help with your early recovery. Also, for example, if you're having a belly surgery, perhaps a colectomy, a hysterectomy, or even a C-section, we can do a specific, specific type of nerve block called a transverse abdominus plane block. It involves two injections in your belly. It numbs up the nerves that control your skin and gives you a band of numbness that lasts for about 72 hours. Imagine if you've had that hysterectomy, and now I can guarantee some numbness and pain control. Well, you can get up and go home that same day. You don't have to spend overnight in the hospital anymore. That's one of the places where it would be beneficial to have a nerve block. Depending on what type of procedure you're having, you may be asleep when you're having a nerve block. For example, when we do the, trap, the tap block, the transverse abdominus plane block, or more likely you'll be awake when we do the nerve block because as we're working around nerves, we want to make sure we get some feedback from you. But we definitely give you some sedation medicine so you don't mind so much. Um, and you t people tend to tolerate that pretty well. We do nerve blocks on teenagers all the way up to elderly uh, patients. Teenagers laugh and giggle, you know. Oftentimes when we're doing a nerve block, we can make part of your arm twitch and they're like, oh, my arm is twitching. It's not, it's not anything you want to do every day, every day, but it's not so uncomfortable that it's uh, prohibitive and it's really, really beneficial. It's really worth it.